matters. Uh, it just means the group of people who support the uh, constitution and president, uh, whatever they make the decision, they will kind of support and uh, uh, so, like say that say that decision was like right. So how the Federalist count was basically the first president, George Washington. Uh, when he was the president, one of his assistants, Alexander Hamilton, was trying to build like uh, um, an economic plan to help the Washington and the United States to kind of grow up quickly. And then he was trying to ask the people who have a relationship with uh, to support his plan, and then there was like a bunch of people make a group and a party, uh, and uh, that's how the Federalist Party came, came out. And uh, all the people, uh, so then later all the people who supported uh, the uh, who was in the Federalist Party and supported Washington and the Constitution, Constitution they called like Federalists, and they basically just the decision from the government was uh, so correct. That's how much is yeah. uh, So, Antifaris was basically this is just the opposite way with people, uh, with the group of people who opposed that the, the, the government decision and the president who made the decision was like, uh, well, harmful people or kind of um, uh, was good for themselves they kind of uh, just uh, stand on the opposite way and, and that was uh, the end time period was uh, similar if I came the similar time period which uh, uh, the constitution will try to uh, make uh, when the constitution was written by that group of like educated like rich people uh, and some some like some people such as their leader we call Randolph they all think like uh, the government will try to uh, take away citizens rights or like the freedom to make the government by their own and they can do whatever they want and this was totally kind of different, uh, like harmful for the citizen, and they just don't want that happen. So they, so they tried to against the government and president. But later, uh, the Washington was uh, pursuing the referendum. Then the Constitution was came out. That's That's the uh, that's the period which uh, when the like uh, constitution was written like that period like some people decided to write the constitution and uh, uh, kind of uh, like some part of constitution was like coming out and and like the federalists and anti-federalists like against each other that like all the time period. Basically, ratify means like accept. It's the same as accept. Yeah. So this is the time that when the constitution was accepted, yeah. came out. Like yeah. People were arguing about it. Yeah, so just, just like the, the constitution tried to make all people leave them to accept it. Good question. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? I, I like this last slide. You talk about um, this one. Because the anti-federalists, they were afraid that the government wanted to take away their rights. They didn't want a strong government, a strong federal government. They wanted like the state's government more important than the central government. So they were really afraid that the government was going to take away their rights. That's good. Right now, we, all, uh, we also have the both the state's government and the central government. What people think right now? It's, it's a mix. The federal government has certain powers.
powers and the state has other powers? It, it depends on the topic, the specific topic. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Yes. 